Alright, so far we have created the library with multiple entry points, and then in our client application we have imported the functionality from those two entry points right here, from the main entry point plug, and from submodule lock. And just as a reminder, the way we have organized the code in our library is as follows. So in here we have a couple of JavaScript files inside source folder, where each of those files contains only one function. And then to tell Node.js which modules have to be imported, whenever client application will import functionality from our library by using either main entry point or sub entry point, which in our case is called lock, we have provided the path in here for every build file which corresponds to every entry point of our library. Whether client-side application is going to use native ECMAScript modules to import functionality from our package or CommonJS modules. In both of these cases, imports from our library are going to work fine. But so far we have only tested importing functionality from our library by using native ECMAScript modules. And in this case, note while importing these modules looks into a key import of the package.json file of our library in order to find the file which it should import. And of course, each of these paths specified in this package.json file points to build files of our library that we has generated during the build process. And it placed all these build files inside this folder by default. So now let's see if it is going to work if in our client application, instead of using native ES6 imports, we're going to use CommonJS syntax by using function require. So I'm going to convert both of these imports to use function require like this. And all this I'm doing inside of the main JavaScript file of our main client application, which imports functionality from the library. And now instead of checking the result in the browser, we're going to run this script main.js by using node. So in the terminal, I'm going to run node and define name. And as we can see, we got an error saying that require is not defined in ES module scope. And in order to fix this issue, we have to rename an extension of this script on CJS, so that Node.js will treat this module as common JS module. But we are going to do it a bit differently, and instead of renaming the current file, I'm going to make a copy of this file with an extension of CJS, like so. And then let's just revert all the changes we have previously made to the main.js file and leave file with an extension cjs as is, which still uses syntax of common JS modules with require function calls. And now again let's execute main.cjs script in the node environment. And in this case, as we can see everything worked fine, we got a result. And as a reminder, this script just extracts usernames from the array of user objects and then it prints out the new array, which consists only of usernames. So that's what we are seeing in here. So as we can see, it is possible to use our library in both cases. Whenever client application uses native ECMAScript import syntax or syntax of common JS modules by using function require to import functionality from the library. And this is possible because it, while building our library, has generated two versions of our library, the one which is intended to be used with native ECMAScript imports and another one for importing functionality by using common JS syntax, in other words, by using function require. And of course, if I'm gonna go back to the source code of our library, and in here I'm going to remove versions of CJS builds, those are the files responsible for providing support to import our library as common JS modules. Then after removal both of these files from the dist folder index.cjs and log.cjs, if we'll try to execute our main.cjs script from the client application, which still uses common JS syntax to import modules from our library. In this case we're gonna get the following error. Well, obviously because we have just removed those files, that were previously providing support to import functionality from our package by using CommonJS syntax. So as we can see, it's very good that while building our library, Vit generates two sets of the build files. The first set of files is intended to be imported as normal ECMAScript modules, and the second set of file provides support whenever users are going to import functionality from our library by using require function. 
So let's continue reviewing possibilities of building libraries with it in the next lesson.